what is up party people i was just adjusting my mic and my keyboard because i'm going to be using my keyboard today to demo the product that we are going to demo today welcome back to let's get nerdy that's right nerds you're in the right place if you want to learn all the nerdy little tools and tricks and strategies that i use to produce an insane amount of content like in insane right like you follow me you know you know are you new here because if you're new here you might not know <laughs> welcome everybody uh to let's get nerdy today we're going to be talking about missing letter i knew that after we did the jarvis demo last week and if you're if you missed it if you're unfamiliar jarvis is ai artificial intelligence that helps you write copy it's freaking bananas but i knew that after i showed you how to use that if you actually took advantage of the trial i gave out and i did put links everywhere um in fact let me just throw this up on the screen real quick if you still want to try the jarvis out as i i chat here with you um i knew that i had to show you missing letter because this is like a tool that i use so i use jarvis we write tons of content. I'm going to show you some examples today, but then I take that content and I put it on my medium blog and I put it on my regular blog. Mostly right now, me personally, I'm focusing on medium. I have my own strategy. You do you boo, you know, whatever you're into with your content. But then I was like, yo, I got to show them missing letter because this thing is kind of like Jarvis for like taking content and turning it into something. Like it's not gonna write everything for you, but it takes what you wrote, summarizes it, creates a social media post, makes it just stupid easy to distribute it across your social networks. Okay, so this this is how you're gonna get more reach. I'm very excited to show you Missing Letter. Have you tried Missing Letter yet? Are you like, what the heck, Kelly? Everyone knows about Missing Letter. <laughs> what up, Bev is in the house. Yeah, girl, I knew you would. That's a good tool. Yolanda is here. Good morning, Yolanda. So happy that you're all here today. Hey, here's what I'm going to need you to do. I need you to be active in the comments, Avi. You know, this is interactive. Otherwise, I would just record it like I do other sort of things. Oh, hello. And then number two, go ahead and hit the share button. Share this with a friend or on your social networks because this is going to benefit everybody in the marketing in the business space if you're in business you're in marketing trust me this tool is pretty cool i've been using uh, missing letter which is the tool that we're not jarvis up here this is the one that we did last week i've been using missing letter now for oh gosh years like it was on AppSumo. Year, it's not on AppSumo now. I apologize. I am going to hook you guys up with a crazy good deal today. So, um, oh, hello. Didn't mean to do that. There's my screen. You're going to see that in a minute. <clears throat> Dang it, Kelly. Get it together. So um, I've been using it. I bought it on AppSumo years and years and years ago. And I think I had a lifetime deal. And then I forgot about it for a while because I don't blog a lot. Let me tell you, I'm not a blogger. I don't write a lot. I'm better with words until Jarvis came along and Jarvis and I are in a very serious relationship and I've been popping content out like crazy. So then I'm all, I have this missing letter thing, you know, I should start using it. So I've actually been using missing letter for quite a few years and actively using it now off and on for the last year and especially the last couple months and everything is going like gangbusters. Let me show you what I mean by gangbusters. Let me just get on my screen here. So this is my missing letter account. This is like the dashboard. And I don't know if you get this, but check out my impressions and my clicks and my posts in the last 30 days. Like retweets are up, likes are up, followers are way up, what, like way up? Um, so this is just kind of like my data. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's pretty cool, but that's not just it. It's not just for scheduling content, right? So another cool feature about Missing Letter is it helps you actually create based off of your stuff. So lucky for you, friends, I've been, I saved up. I, I usually go in, I, I write my post, my blog, I put it in, and then I go head over to Missing Letter, and then I do my thing in Missing Letter. But I saved up a couple articles, and we're going to do it together today. And that you're going to see how easy this is. You're going to see it. It's going to be amazing. You don't know about Missing Letter, but you will. I know, right? Yay. 
What is up? What is up all my people? Okay, you ready? This is exciting. I know you're excited, I'm excited. Um, I'm gonna show you my screen. All right, so first thing I wanna show you is this is my medium blog. Well, this is medium, not my medium blog. This is my medium blog that I've been posting to. And, you know, um, I haven't posted in four days because I've been busy writing scripts, but I have this one. And then five days ago, I did this one. And then this one, I wrote all of these. I'll stop when I didn't use Jarvis. Jarvis helped me write all these. And you can see I started using Jarvis this June 29th. Okay, boss mode, boom, this is where it began. And then since then I've written all this in like a week. So I'm like, ah, it's such a chore, right? To then have to go create all that social media uh, content, the images, the what am I gonna say, you know, scheduling it out. Is it evergreen content? I write a lot of evergreen content. So I want it to go out over the next, you know, six months, 12 months. This is a lot of work. And yes, I do have a VA that could absolutely help me with that. Or, I mean, I could use a missing letter. So <laughs> let's get back on the screen. Let me show you what I mean. All right, so here's my home screen. I already showed you this. Kind of just give you an idea of how things are going. Um, and then it says, these are your actions. So I have three drip campaigns waiting to be reviewed. Those are the ones I told you I was saving for you. Um, and so whoop, whoop, we're going to go hello over here and we're gonna go to campaigns. Now in the campaigns tab, it's actually gonna show me, here's what you have active. So you can see I have these articles that are already in the system and you can see what kind of campaign I'm running. So I have this one is an evergreen 12 month campaign. So it drips it out across all these social networks here, not Medium, I don't have it republishing because I'm pulling from Medium. Uh, so Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, and this one's 12 months. So far, three have been sent and I have nine scheduled. All right, and then I have a 12 month blast and then a couple of six months, 12 month, 12 month, two month. Okay, so you could choose your blast strength, if you will. And what I mean by choosing your blast strength <laughs> is that it's going to allow you to decide if you want a strong push. So if you're not doing evergreen content, maybe it's like timely. So I had an article that came out uh, if you saw there, let me show you really quick. Right here, uh, the Grow Your Instagram is a two-month blast. And the reason that's a two-month blast is because obviously it is more timely. I mean, Grow Your Instagram is very, very evergreen. However, it came out around the time that Instagram automations came out. So there's a lot of talk about that in the article. So this is very timely. I want to push it out strong. I'm going to do a two month blast. So in order to set that up, it's actually rather easy. Let's go full screen again. Uh, we're going to go to our drafts. Uh, these are my drafts. This is what I'm going to show you. I'm going to set them up right now. <laughs> I know you guys catch that, right? Um, okay, so we have small businesses can win with chatbots. This one hasn't gone out yet. Chatbots, the new friend of real estate agents, hasn't gone out yet. And working from home hasn't gone out yet. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to either, I could go and I could you know, review the campaign, regenerate it, I can update the source URL, view the source. If I'm like, I don't remember writing this article. Maybe you haven't been in your missing letter in a while. You could go check it out or you could delete it, okay? So in this case, we're gonna go set up. So this is an article that says how small businesses can win with chatbots and AI. So here is our first step. We're gonna choose what kind of blast do we wanna set up? Hold up, I got a question here. How could you, how could you have kept this from your peeps? I know, girl, this is actually the second time I've talked about it in like the last six months. And then, you know, I just forget, oh no, my hair tie just popped. Ooh, this is the worst time. Hold on. Oh, gosh. Girl issues. You guys don't see this because I'm off screen, but my hair tie. I was using one of those. Um, what do you call those things? This is a very chaotic show so far. <laughs> see my little hair tie? It just popped because I was using one of those clear plastic ones. Luckily, my daughter leaves hair ties everywhere. Okay, back on track. So this is like... I just forgot, you know, I have so many tools that I use that are just, it's part of my system that I forget, which is why I thought about it because this was part of my system, right? I taught you Jarvis last week. We're writing tons of content. And then now what? How do we get it all out? Pair, fail. Yes, I know. We're back on track though. <laughs> all right, so back onto the full screen. So we're going to choose our 
length of time, right? So we have a two week blast, a two week light. So a two week blast is like, we're gonna send this out regularly in the next two weeks. We're gonna just saturate. Two week light is we're gonna, we're gonna do two weeks, but maybe not such a hard push. Like it's, I don't need to be in people's face. Um, and then a two month blast is just, or sorry, two week, right? And then the two month blast, and then a six month evergreen and a 12 month evergreen. So evergreen is like things that obviously I can talk about all year long, still makes sense. So in the case of how small businesses can win with chatbots, I feel like a six month would be a beautiful thing. So we're gonna go six month blast. I can also say, when do I want to publish this? The first day is going to be today's date. Let's see, what is, oh, that was, the, that. sorry, that's when it was first published. So it's telling me when this article was first published, right? Good. And then it's going to give me hashtags. Trust me, you don't want to use the hashtags they gave you, images and quotes. So that's what we're going to actually go in and do. So now we're going to build the campaign. You just click on each box. So we're going to click on select hashtag and they give you all these hashtags. My recommendation is don't use all these hashtags because again, this is going out on Facebook. It's going out on um, Instagram, yes, but you know, if you want it, you, you get to choose where it goes out, but it's going out all these places. You don't want tons and tons, and you might not want any of these. Like, I like small business, cool. I can either delete all and add my own. I can just delete some of them. We're gonna delete that one. We're gonna delete that one. We're gonna delete, 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 delete. And then I'm gonna add chatbots. I could add chat marketing. I could add AI, uh, you know, whatever. And then I'm going to add that. And it's going to tell me how it's doing in the world today. All right. So I have two hashtags. That's what I'm liking. I'm going to stick with that. Then we're going to go to select medium. So it's actually pulling the images in from my blog. But I want more friends. I like lots of options. So I'm going to click on add medium or media. And I can actually add stuff by uploading from my files. I can add from Unsplash, which is what we're gonna do right now. And I can add from Giphy, which means yes, I can actually do this. Watch this, you guys watch. Yeah, cause I love this GIF. So we're gonna definitely include my banana, cause it's bananas, right? Small businesses should be looking at chatbots and AI because that's it's bananas. And then we could go to up, oh, not upload, sorry. I do have blogs that uh, stuff I can upload, but we're gonna go to Unsplash. This is a, um, a site that we can use to grab images that we, we are allowed to use in our, you know, they're not copyrighted or what have you. Um, okay, so I'm gonna just look for, let's see, uh, people on phones. I don't know what's gonna come up. All right, so I like this one, I like this one. Um, I could keep going if I wanted. Let's just add that. That looks good. Yes, I confirm. Confirm. All right, so it's going to add everything I want to add. I could add as much as I want here. And it's going to tell me, see these green, uh, if, you, if you could see these over here on the side, it's going to show that I have these green marks. That means, okay, you have enough, okay? So Bev, you have a question. How does it pull the media from your blog on Medium? We'll get to that when I show you how to set it up. Absolutely, but it's basically pulling the feed. So it's pulling, and it doesn't always pull all of the images. So if you, we went to my media, this article, this is the article right here. Um, you see there's the main image. It's obviously gonna pull the main image, but I actually have other images in here. Um, it just didn't pull them all. And that's fine too. I can either upload them or, you know, whatever, but I have other images. You know, um, while we're here, I just wanna note, this is published in Chatbot Life magazine. So the reason that I like Medium is I get more attention because I am a publisher for certain magazines. So if you were wondering. Okay, so we're back over here. We, I love the images, they look great. Cool, we're gonna go to select quotes. So what it's gonna do now is it's going to pull from your, it's using AI, cause you all know I'm a fan of the AI right now. Um, it's pulling your like tidbits from your own blog. Now, right now it's saying you don't have enough quotes for a, a six month evergreen. So we're gonna need you to add more or delete the ones if you don't like them. I do suggest that you or your VA or whoever's gonna do this, you do scan through here and just make sure that, you know, these are not crappy quotes small businesses can utilize okay that looks good chatbots are an excellent way yep chatbots provide small perfect all right so now it's telling me kelly you're going to need more so we're going to add that one and then uh, i still have a red 
we need more. We need at least nine. That's what it's recommending. So I can search for quotes. I can add my own quote. Um, searching for more quotes, it's not finding them. I can actually look for quotes. I can even go back to my article. Generally, I will like throw quotes out in, let's see, I don't know if I did it in this one. Doesn't look like, oh, here. So I have like these quotes here. So I'm gonna copy that and I could come back and I can add my own quotes like this, boom. There's another quote, all right. I'm still needing a couple more. So we're gonna go and do a couple more. Um, a study, do, 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 blah, blah, blah. I love, I love using stats because I think it catches people's attention. People like stats. Maybe, maybe I'm alone. I don't know. What do you guys think? Are you a stats person? Now look, I got my green. I'm green across the board at this point. So now um, what we've done so far is we've gone in, we picked the length of our, our blast, so six months in this case, and then um, chose our hashtags, chose our images. You don't have to use hashtags, but, uh, and then chose the quotes. And you'll understand the quotes here in a minute. Like, what does that mean? So here we go, heading back in. Love the stats, see? I'm not alone. Okay, so then we're gonna build our campaign. It's gonna give us a little warning. It should, oh, it didn't, okay, so we're good. Oh, this is where it gives you the warning. All right, so the next thing is it has put together all of the stuff that we just kind of outlined for it. And now it's creating posts for us for 95, uh, or for so many days that are, and it'll tell us like today's the day one, it's going to post this. This is the image, this is the quote. Okay, so I could move on, chatbots are next away, da da da, it's giving me this one, and this is for day one. And I'm like, you know, I don't know if I want to use the same image because it's a day after one, day, like the first today, it's gonna post today, and then tomorrow it's gonna be the same image. Do we really want that? So I can click on these little three dots and I can actually change the image so we could go in and say you know um we're gonna need to look at a different image here we're gonna need to switch that up and i can go oh yeah bananas yes or i can upload a different image or i can say well i'd rather do a quote bubble yep you could do a quote bubble boop 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 and i can say well i don't like that quote bubble so let's change the quote bubble you see you see tell me that's not cool so i have full control here you could also be like me <laughs> and just like quickly go through and be like yeah 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 I don't care, it looks good. <laughs> so I'm going to go back to the image. We'll do bananas. So you're gonna go through each one of these. You can also do it per um, your account that you wanna list it on. And then we're going to, again, it just keeps pulling that same image, doesn't it? So we're gonna make sure it's not pulling that. And then we're just gonna go through what image is it gonna do now? This time we're gonna do a quote. Okay, and then just run through them. So we're gonna run through, you see 180 days back to zero. So now that we've gone through each day, we've looked at everything, we're gonna go to launch campaign. It's going to give us a warning. Did you, first of all, did you write this blog? You have to say it was written by you or someone on your team. Like you own the blog that you're sending out. So you would use something like, a lot of people ask me, you know, Kelly, why do you use this versus Agora Pulse or Agora Pulse versus this. This is for curating my blog at hyperspeed for like Evergreen Blast and, and such. Um, for something like if I'm sharing other people's content or obviously for other platforms like YouTube and stuff like that, I'm gonna use Agora Pulse. So there are differences to why I would do one over the other. So we're gonna say, yes, I confirm. And then that's it. Now it's like, okay, cool. We're optimizing everything. It's doing its thing. Okay, cool. You can also download the assets so you can use all the assets that they created for you. Now we're gonna go back and I'm gonna do another one very quickly so you can see, cause we have another draft and then we'll show you how to set this bad boy up. So let's do, let's do work from home. This one, let's do a setup campaign. You can post these to Instagram. I don't have mine go out to Instagram. We're going to do a 12 month. Uh, we're gonna go through here. I'm actually going to delete everything and I'm gonna just add working remotely. Is that, is that like correctly spelled? It is not. 
<laughs> Make sure you spell your hashtags right. All right, so I'm just gonna put that in there. I could also do like work from home, whatever. We're just gonna keep going. Select our medium. You, in this case, it pulled all the medium. I feel good about that. And then select the quotes. In this case, it has pulled 14 quotes. I'm gonna just quickly go through. Okay, it looks good. I like it. Um, I'm actually gonna add this one too, because I think that is a, a nice hook. Then we're gonna go to the build campaign, just like we did before. Come on. And then we're just gonna go through and make sure, you know, it's pulling the stuff we want it to pull. It looks good. See what it's doing again? I have to be careful for stuff like that, because I don't want, again, you just have to kind of go through really quick and just make sure it's not posting that same image. Sometimes it wants to post that same image. And a lot of times it's being caused because you had the same image in there twice. So when you're doing your outline, like we did here in this section, this past section, doo -doo -doo, let's go back really quick, go back to our drafts, but where we are, set up campaign. Uh, when we went through to the select medium, you see how it's, put, it's in here twice, just delete the one that's a multiple. That way it doesn't come up over and over and over and over again. Yes, regenerate. Um, so now it's regenerating, going through. Uh, now I would just scan through this really quick. You probably notice the same image is coming up. So I would just change those and then I would launch. So I'm actually just gonna launch this real quick because I don't care, it looks good. And now I have this one. So now I could go back to my dashboard and I could see how things are going. I can go to my campaigns. I can look at all the active campaigns and I can view those specific campaigns. So let's go to like an older one. This one is um, one that I sent out a while ago. Let's view this campaign. And it's gonna show me it's active currently. It did really well at first and now it's just kind of leveling out. It's, it's doing well and then leveling out, which is pretty normal for a 12 month deal. Um, 40, 58 clicks. Here are the posts that, got, that went out right here. Um, I can also pause it. I'm like, ooh, you, let's not do it anymore, right? I can look at my calendar and I can see what's happening. What's happening? Look at all this action that's going on on my page. So I can make sure that things aren't maybe too close together or I can delete certain things. Like today, we have on Twitter, we have this going out, and then we have this going out on LinkedIn, and this is going out on LinkedIn, and this one's going out on Facebook, and this is going out on all three this is also going out this is dude if you're wondering like how does she keep all this stuff how is she doing this like how is this possible it's because of this it's because i am able to curate all this stuff right and then i can even go in deeper into my analytics and i can get a real sense for what is working what is my top campaign so i want to write more content about that right how to get started with messenger chatbots this was a this was a live show that we recapped into a blog post um that was 20 percent of my campaign uh we had shopify integration okay so then i could go uh how are they how are my platforms performing um we'll talk about curate in a minute but twitter does really well so for people who are like Yo, Twitter doesn't work for me. Like, why do, why do people use Twitter still? Like, that's why, like, it works well for, I had 220, you can't see this, I'll show you in a second. I had 20, 222 clicks. Um, I think this is over 30 days. Yeah, this is like, oh, this year. Um, so, you know, it, it's just going to be a good channel for me. But if you see that nothing's working well, this, it doesn't, to me, it doesn't hurt for me to do, these channels because as you saw it's just easy and then interestingly enough french people love me well there you go i don't speak french but there you go uh then it, it could tell me about the browser um most people are using chrome or um, other <laughs> we have ebooks what whoa facebook browser so that means they're probably you know seeing it on facebook and opening it up in facebook operating systems sometimes that's helpful you can find out how many people are on different systems. What is the best time of day? Look at this, weird, 1 a.m. 
That's the other cool thing about missing letter is it's going to produce so much content for you that it gives you a lot of data to understand. Okay. So let me skip back up to curate here. I want to explain what curate is really quick. Curate is a, is a feature that not everyone in missing letter has, but if you end up getting it, you, uh, and I never use curate. I'm not going to lie to you. And for some reason it's not loading probably because I never use it. Um, but basically curate is a new kind of beta thing that they've been testing where you can actually submit your articles for curation or you can use other people. So it's basically a curated place based off topics that you can then share other people's content out to your missing letter. So it just gives you more content to mix things up. So, um, I don't, I, I, I submit stuff to curate. I don't use their curate just why? Because I create so much content and my friends create so much content. I use their content to share. It's just a preference for me. Now I want to go into the settings and answer Bev's question about like, how did you get it to do this, that, and the other? All right. So in your settings, you can add your social profiles right here. So these are the social profiles that are available to you. You can do a Facebook page, a Facebook group, Instagram business um, profile, Twitter, LinkedIn page, and a LinkedIn profile. I do everything, but I don't do Facebook groups because I use my Facebook group very specifically for engagement. So I don't want to just be blasting stuff in there all the time. Plus I'm always sharing my other stuff in there. So again, I don't want to oversaturate it with links, right? And then Instagram business, I don't use it for that. I have my own Instagram strategy and let's be real. My strategy is just about me doing lots of reels. <laughs> if you, if you follow me on Instagram, you know, you're in the know. So there's the ones I use. All right. And then, um, I don't have the medium connected on this side because I pull everything from medium. Okay. So whoop, let's go back in here. So from here, I also have times and da uh, dates and times. So I can set up like my time zone. Are there certain days of the month I don't want to post out? I can also say, well, I don't want anything. I, I just want it on, you know, every other day. Um, so I can do custom time slots per channel. So there's a lot of flexibility here. And I'll get to that question in just a moment. The what is medium? I promise we'll talk, we'll talk about it. And then um, I love this branding i can customize those little quotes that are made so you see this is like my colors but maybe i don't want to use oh, go away maybe i don't want to use um the yellow anymore then i can actually go in and say okay well you know we need a different color or we need a different background or what have you so here's my speech bubble here's my colors um off the top of my head you guys are going to see where I keep all my branding information. I can't remember what my brand yellow is, but I'm a stickler for being consistent. So I would want to use maybe the yellow or the purple. I don't know. Let's try it. We're going to put, oh, that's not correct. There we go. <laughs> um, we're going to do this and then let's make our font black. So it's a little easier to read. I don't know why I didn't do that, but, and then I could change, um, I want Lotto, but you can actually add your own fonts and all that good stuff. So you could really, 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 oop, hello, really customize it. And then I am the author. So it's going to, you know, we're going to talk about like, what do you want the author to look like? Do you want this to be a circle? Do you want it to be a squared rounded? I'm going to go circle as usual. I like that. And then your brand. So, um, more of like your brand name style down here, this stuff. Okay. Um, so that's what it looks like. And I'm going to save and close that. And then, so I have two quote bubbles. I have two workplaces just so that you guys are um, understanding. Then I can browse themes. I can look at other people's themes. I can do my themes and then custom fonts. We could bring in our custom fonts. I already mentioned that, um, curate general curate, uh, do we want to do the curate type stuff again? I don't use curate, so I don't, you see mine's turned off. Um, then for our drip campaigns, we can go in and like talk about how do we want things to work? Do we want to use hashtags? We could just, if you never want to use hashtags, you can pull those off. Do you want to use, um, you know, postcard links, quote bubbles, images? Do you want to take some of those out? Uh, do you want to allow the quote to be truncated? So like if it's too long, they can truncate it for say 
Twitter, um, do you have your own branded hashtag you want to make sure you always include? So those are definitely things that you can include. Then the content sources, this is really important um, because this is where they're getting the blog, right? So this is, this is, you might be more like, how do they get all this stuff, right? This is something Bev I think was asking. I just put my, my RSS feed for my blog. So in this case, it was Medium. I have had my blog from my website connected before, but I was doing duplicates, like I'm doing the same article. So I just chose to make Medium my main source. But we can go here to add source, check it, look at this. I can even select the option if you want missing letter to detect when you publish a new YouTube video. This is new. They just added this. So I can now sign in and add this. This makes me so happy. You guys have no idea. This is something I've been wanting. Um, I can, I've never done this before. You are seeing it first. So it's loading, it's bringing in my source. Yeah, baby got bought, bring it, update the source, close. All right, so now it's bringing in all new campaigns because I have my YouTube channel. What? I don't know how that's gonna look because I've never done it, but there you go. So then you have your U URL shortener, which URL shortener do you use? Uh, or which one do you want to use? Do you want to take, you know, no UR shortener? You want to keep it long, keep it natural, uh, schedule templates. These are my schedule templates. So I don't have to go by theirs. Maybe I want to do a three week blast. Maybe I want to do, you know, whatever. My default is 12 months. But again, you saw I have full control over that. Uh, content templates. This is kind of like the template. We can edit those as well. Uh, blacklist phrases, things we don't want to include. I took Club Stellar out. That, that's a different, and then I can delete this workplace. Um, by the way, you can have different workplaces. I think I deleted all my workplaces. It's just me now, but I had a workplace for um, a client. So like here's client X workplace. So I have a, a special account because I got it through missing letter, or I'm sorry, um, AppSumo years ago, they gave me the special, but you can absolutely buy this. Um, and then I could go to create one for my client. So my client can have all custom stuff. Dude, imagine you being a social media manager, right? And your client, their main focus is blogs. <laughs> this is a service you, you, they don't have to know that this is missing letter. Like you offer this service, like, yeah, yo, we're gonna be able to, number one, hello, hello list of services you can add to your, your agency, right? Service number one, we're gonna write you some content or, let's say two tiered service. I'm going to give you two scenarios here. Are you ready for the two scenarios? Scenario number one, you consult the client and you decide we are going to have you create blogs. So we're going to write the blogs for you. We will, we will have that service for you. You're going to use Jarvis to help you do that. And we're going to make sure that your blogs are curated over the course of however long you want to set that up, a couple of weeks, six months, 12 months, depending on the broadcast, you will always have content on your social media because of your blogs. And we're going to help you get more traction on that. That's a service. Those are services that you can charge quite a bit of money for. And as you can see, I've already shown you this week. Ah, and last week with Jarvis, I just made it easy for you. Okay. And just because it's easy for you does not mean you don't charge for it. You don't owe anybody anything. Okay. Um, number two scenario, let's say you're consulting the client before signing them and you say, you know what the strategy is? You need to do video. We need to get your face on camera. But they're like, I don't know what to do. It's like, it's okay. I offer a service where I will write scripts for you and we're going to get you a teleprompter and a camera set up. Obviously they're going to pay for this stuff and we're going to set you up where I'm going to get you a script. I'm going to write you a script every week. You're gonna submit your video to me. I'll edit it, I'll post it. Yeah, this is for you YouTube people who are doing YouTube services. So you can write the scripts. Guess where you can write the scripts? You got it, Jarvis. I'm actually gonna do a, um, a video next week on Baby Got Content all about that. And then, as you saw, we can also do this, but then you could take a step further if you're doing the YouTube like videos, other services. I can use Descript or some other kind of repurposing tool to cut it up into micro content. I can then use the uh, script and I could turn it into a blog. I could post the blog to their website and then I can use missing letter to generate traffic to that website. Okay, do you see where we're going here? These two tools alone just created a crap ton of service offerings for you. 
income sources. So I get kind of excited about this. I get kind of excited. So yes, we do have a section. I went on a tangent there, but we do have a section that is for clients. So I can add workspaces depending on which um, package. Now you're probably gonna ask like, how much is this gonna cost? <laughs> and I don't know because it's been too long. I, like I said, I got it. I have a small team plan. Um, it's forever free for me. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I don't know what to tell you. Um, I don't pay for it because I bought it with Absolute. It was one of those things, but it's well worth the money and I still would pay for it now today because I just told you how to make money off of it, right? So let's see. If I went to missingletter.com, I might have to just look for pricing because I want to give you the right price. Plus you get the 50% off with the, the special offer that I have for you here, but I just want to make sure I'm showing you the right thing obviously I have okay there you go you could get one workplace one social profile I wouldn't do it with just one I would go to this one the $19 a month you get one workplace start with one workplace start with one client start with yourself and then as you build clients look you could get three workplaces for $59 and then you can add spots and then they have curate they have agency uh, stuff um, if you wanted to add curate again I don't use curate I just don't. It's, oh, you can't even see this. Oh my gosh, I am so sorry, you guys. I do this all the time. So there's the pricing. Free. You could try it for free. Um, and you could try it with one workspace that's just you and one social profile and up to 50 scheduled posts. No extra users, okay? And then I would say start at $19 a month because you're going to get the three social profiles. That's really where, so you could do Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, right? And then once you get clients or you want to level up, you can go here to three workspaces. Plus you see this, you get extra users. You know what that means. That means VA, that means your VA is coming in. Your v VA is coming in and helping you, right? Tell me that's not cool. Like, tell me, tell me this is not cool. Let me see what kind of questions y'all have for me right now. And then um, I'll answer them. See, this was such an easy demo today that it didn't even take that long. Yes, Jarvis is the best thing ever. The best. I I can write. I just don't like to. <laughs> and I've been writing a lot lately. Um, I already talked that one. Hair fail, yes. Okay, how does it know to pull the media from? So that was that connection I did in the settings, Bev. I hope that answered your question. Me too, I love stats too. Yes, audience stats, super important. I do too, I love the quote images. I think that that's a great way to just mix it up, right? Um, what is Medium? Medium is a blog platform. And it's like, think of it like Blogger or something like that, except there's ways that you can actually make money on Medium and you can also become a publisher for other, for magazine, like digital magazines. So as you saw in my example, I'm a publisher for Chatbot Magazine or Chatbot Life. There's a couple of publishers that I publish and it just gives you more reach distribution, um, that sort of thing. I actually publish both on Medium and my website. Are you actually putting the content from Jarvis here or does this write content for you? I put the content I write in Jarvis on Medium and then, then me, once it's posted to Medium, that feed sends a signal to missing letter and missing letters like, oh, new post. And it brings in that information. It brings in all those images and I can add more images as you saw. It brings in quotes and such. And it basically just creates the curation schedule for me. So it just saves me massive, massive amounts of time. That's kind of my workflow, right? And then yes, client workflows are awesome. So really quick, before we wrap up today, I wanna to show you Let's go to my Facebook page just so you could get like, oops, like a sense for what this looks like. Welcome to my Facebook page. Let's see, it's just gonna take forever to load, right? Cause that's life. All right, so there I am, I'm live. Okay, so this one was published by Missing Letter. This is my post from yesterday that was me this is from missing letter this is from missing letter this is from missing letter this is from you guys all this this is from missing letter literally almost all the content this is from a core pulse um, almost all the content is from missing letter and you can see how diverse it looks on my feed it doesn't always look like the same thing 
and some of them perform really, really well. Some of them don't perform as well. You know, that's Facebook for you, right? Can I get an amen? But I do think it's important. This one performed fairly well. Um, I do think it's really important that we are always posting content. But you know how it is. Like, it's hard to post content when you aren't seeing the numbers, especially on Facebook, but you still need to be active. So this is one of those tools that it's like a no brainer. It's just gonna make it super easy to do everything. So there you have it, Missing Letter. It's a tool that I love, I'm passionate about. Obviously I use it constantly. You saw my timeline, like it's always posting for me and I'm always adding to it because I'm constantly writing new stuff with Jarvis and now with the YouTube integration, obviously I'm gonna be playing with that and I'll bring you an update later. So here is the process I would recommend for or those of you who are wanting to do basically what I do, get yourself the Jarvis. I showed you a link so you can give it a try if you haven't yet. Let me, sorry, let me repost that for you. I have so many links in here. <laughs> there it is. Um, go ahead and get you some Jarvis. Jarvis, uh, if you don't understand what Jarvis is, I just posted a video on my baby got content. It's Stellar Media Marketing, or sorry, youtube.com forward slash Stellar Media Marketing. There is a whole tutorial, a whole recipe, trust me, it's called a recipe, uh, that teaches you how to write long form content. That's my process in Jarvis. I then put it in Grammarly. Grammarly, if you're in, unfamiliar, is perfect for people like me with dyslexia. It's gonna clean things up, check for plagiarism, because you never know when AI is helping you write. What up, baby? When AI is helping you write content. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then after it goes to Grammarly, I post it to Medium, and then I go to Missing Letter, and I do that whole process I showed you today. And it's like, right? And you saw, I showed you just my Facebook page alone. There is always content flowing out. And people are like, how do you do that? How do you constantly come up with, like, how do you always have stuff out there? And I do, but I want to explain to you really quick why it's important, right? Because you might be like, well, I don't get the reach and stuff. I'm going to give you an example. But first, let me tell you. I'm gonna tell you and then I'm gonna give you a story. Um, you have to be top of mind. Not everybody is ready to buy from you or refer to you, okay? But you have to be at the top of their mind when that comes up and now it's story time. So there is a guy, his name is Matthew. He does video editing, he's in the UK. And I know Matthew does video editing. He has like a whole service, but I forget like all the time. I'm not, we've never met personally. I just know him from social media. And since we haven't met personally, I often forget who, him. I forget him, I just do. I'm sorry, Matthew, if you're watching. <laughs> he knows who he is. He's the king of video, you might know him. Um, and he does a really great job, really. I've seen his work, but I just forget because I know a lot of video editors. Now here's the thing is that I've been in circles with Matthew for a, a quite some time, probably at least a year, maybe two years, but I never referred business to him until the last six months. And now I refer a lot of business to him because here's what happened. I started seeing him post in different groups that I'm in and different in, in on his profile and just being engaged. And it's not, he wasn't pitching. Sometimes he was asking a question in the Atomic group about how he should structure his business. And it reminded me, oh yeah, that's right, he has that business. So then I'm in another group and people are like, hey, do you know anyone who does affordable but really good quality video editing? And I was like, I do know someone because top of, he's now top of mind. If he wasn't in my timeline, I would have forgotten his name. I would have just been like, I don't. But he was there that week and I remembered, I was like, yo, we got to do this. We, I got to, I, I got to recommend him because I know he's good at this. So this, my friends, is why it's important for you to be out there. And if you're thinking, oh, it's so hard to be out there all the time and to always be producing content, I literally just gave you the silver platter with the answer, like missing letter, uh, Jarvis missing letter. It's like a full course meal of this is how you stay on top of shit. Okay, oh man, I'm not gonna be able to monetize this video because I just said the sh word. <laughs> Hopefully YouTube wasn't listening. YouTube, don't listen. <laughs> okay, so if you're wondering like, how do I stay on top of this? You don't always, I do recommend that you get your face in front of people as often as possible, like your actual. That's why I'm a big fan of stories. 
I love reels. That's just my love, my love affair with Instagram. Me and Instagram are getting along real well these days. I'm like a reels fanatic. But stories on Facebook get a lot of traction. Nobody has to engage with you. It's not, I, I did not engage with like any of the posts that Matthew was putting out. I don't think I did. But I referred him three times in the last two weeks because in the last two weeks, I've seen him in my timeline. You have got, you have got to be out there because people are wanting to refer you. They just don't know. They don't know you that well, maybe. I get referrals all the time from people I have never personally met because they see me out there. <laughs> oh, can it? Oh, good. Because last last week I got a little, you know, if you guys are on YouTube and you get the, mon if you're monetized, you get the warnings. Like it, it wasn't that I didn't get monetized. It gave me a warning like, oh, it's been like leveled down. You don't get as much because of your language. But then they went back and reviewed it like the next week because I had said Shh, last week too. That's my, that's my word. That's my publicly acceptable word. That's actually not my word. I'm not going to lie to y'all. The F bomb is my word. <laughs> Ask anybody. So. So here's what we did today, if you missed anything. Uh, we talked Jarvis uh, very briefly on how I am creating, there's your get, get a free trial of Jarvis right there, uh, on how I'm creating just like a ton of content. I showed you my content. I showed you how I'm using Medium. And then primarily we focused on this tool right here, boop, boop, missing letter. I showed you how I was taking that content and distributing it around the social world in various levels of blasts so that I always have content, always in top of mind. We talked about ways to monetize these tools and how you, several scenarios on how you can actually add services and start making money with these tools and all the other tools that I talk about. I am not bringing you tools that I don't personally use myself. That's why I'm always on here nerding out. That's why I changed the company name or the, the show name to Let's Get Nerdy because we just got to nerd out on the stuff that I use, that my friends use, that my colleagues use that are finding successful. And then I also want to make sure that you're able to pay for it because I'm a really big believer in knowing your cost and being able to cover it because I, you are talking to the lady who has spent in one year over 40 grand. I am not, I am not lying to you. My, my, this was years ago. My accountant told me, Kelly, you got to stop. You got to audit yourself. You got to, you got to wash some stuff out. You got to delete some stuff. <clears throat> you got to make sure you're using these tools. So I'm not, I, you're talking to the lady who used to spend 40 grand a year on tools. I am only bringing you the stuff I actually use, okay? And I want to also share with you, which we did today, how you can monetize it if you are an agency. Because obviously I mentor agencies, that's what I do. So I want to make sure you're able to monetize these tools or use them for your own powers in terms of staying top of mind. We covered that as well. So we covered a lot today. And if you missed any of it, I do recommend that you go back and you rewatch because there's a lot of value here as usual, as per usual. <laughs> I know, this is a true story. It made my body hurt. And here's like, since we're done with this, I'm gonna give you another thing. So I mentioned I have, um, I do, I help agencies. I have a program called Baby Got Mentorship. I'm actually gonna be rebranding it. I'm relaunching the membership uh, this fall, hopefully. Evie's helping me get my, I mean, blah, 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 my new membership website up and going. But uh, one of the things that I'm doing in this membership, I mentor the, uh, and coach, and we do a lot of trainings in there for chat marketing agencies. But one of the things I want to do is really drive home certain activities. And one of those activities that you all can do this week, I recommend you do it at least once a quarter. I just did it. And I went through and like did a whole bunch of steps. I'm going to explain it to you. Is you audit your expenses, especially if you're an AppSumo user. I'm actually not allowed to go to AppSumo anymore. It's my own rule. No one's telling me, Kelly, you can't do it. AppSumo didn't say, Kelly, you're not allowed anymore. No, it was me. It's like a drug, okay? I, it's like I am in like uh, Alcoholic Anonymous, but it's like Tool Anonymous. I'm not allowed over there. It's a trigger <laughs> because that that was where I spent 40 grand, honestly, because there's always that. Oh, and so it's so funny because my I have so many friends. Some of them might be watching that are like, oh, Kelly, you use this tool. You should go look at AppSumo. They have this tool. And I'm like, first of all, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to AppSumo <laughs> um, because uh, number one, yes, I found awesome tools like Missing Letter, but I've spent an enormous amount of money on tools that I honestly don't need because it's like, oh, it's cheap. 
I'm just gonna go buy it. So you have to be really careful with that. But my suggestion is even if you're testing things out, like maybe you try missing letter, you test it out, maybe you keep it, maybe you don't. A lot of people, like a lot of people end up getting tools that they don't use. They forget about it. I forget about tools all the time. Um, and this is why you audit yourself. So an activity that I highly recommend that you do, this is something I'm gonna be recommending to my members as part of agency camp. Agency camp is coming in fall. Anyone can sign up for agency camp. So keep your eyes open for that. Details coming. Um, we are gonna be focusing on one of the activities, the homework assignments is to go audit yourself. So you, the, the steps are, you have a date with yourself, get yourself your sparkling water. This is actually sparkling water. It's called liquid death. I know, well, that's a whole other story, but it's delicious water. Um, get yourself a glass of wine, whatever. And I want you to go and especially your PayPal, go to your reoccurring cost and look at your subscriptions. And then get into your phone. If you're an Android user, go into your um, Google, like your Play Store, go look at your subscriptions. And then after you have canceled probably 50% of those subscriptions because you're like, wait, what? I'm still paying for that? Cancel them. You're not using them. Maybe though, maybe you find a tool, you're like, oh, I forgot I had that, I need that. And then you start using it again, everyone's happy. But go do that. And then go to your credit card statement. This is usually the easiest one for me because I don't use my credit card unless I'm trying to pay it off. Um, I don't use it anymore, but I, I just scan it, make sure there's no reoccurring costs that I forgot about. Again, I've pretty much got rid of those um, on my credit card. I don't put reoccurring costs on my credit card. Let me, let's put a pin in that and I'll explain that in a minute. This, this live is turning into quite a different turn, isn't it? This is like the bonus stuff. Uh, so go just make sure there's no fraudulent charges, double charges. These things happen and you're not always going to be notified. So have a financial date with yourself. It'll take maybe an hour, maybe more. If you're drinking wine, listening to some good music, you'll be jamming, you'll be saving money. Audit yourself. It's actually very easy to do. I do it at least once a quarter. I've tried to start doing it once a month. I actually just did it yesterday. <laughs> so look at this, I love it. Where's your staple? You're drinking different, but I know, okay, you guys, she's asking me about Topo Chico. I ran out of Topo Chico, but I always have different variety in my house. I love sparkling water, I like variety. So I, Topo Chico's the gold standard. That's, I usually have bottles and bottles laying on my desk. And then um, followed by the flavor, not sweet, I don't like sweet. Uh, San Pellegrino and then followed that with this new stuff this is new I saw the most brilliant ad on Facebook yes I'm susceptible to social ads it's a, it's called liquid death the ad was a, a horrible review they got and it just had a big headline that said people love us on the internet and I thought that was oh I literally like spit my Topo Chico out in laughter no I didn't I would never waste Topo Chico but this is what I had because I wanted to try it so it was in my house and I actually really like it the black can is sparkling water it looks like an energy drink but it's sparkling water and they also have a white can that is um like flat water which I actually prefer I prefer Topo Chico for sparkling I prefer this stuff for it just tastes good and I love this murder your thirst also for you non you can't see it it's not doing it um, yeah, whatever. For you non-religious people, you'll think this is funny. For the religious people, I apologize. Um, you can sell your soul to them and they'll send you a free case of water. I did not sell my soul to them because I don't think God would appreciate that. <laughs> I just thought it was funny. Okay. Uh, twice a week, 10 and 25 are my money days. Profit first allocation, check charges, check dues when paid. Get it, girl. I love it. She's got a twice a week date. I am not a money person. I like money. I like spending money. I hate doing finances. Why well, I have a bookkeeper. She does all the main stuff. Um, I have an accountant, a bookkeeper. She does all the books. So I still go in and touch my money, figuratively speaking. Now I put it, you guys, I put a pin. What did I put a pin on? Mom brain, we got on a tangent about water. Do y'all remember what I put a pin on? Cause I will come back and unpin that. Harry, thanks. You got like the after, this is the after show discussion. We're just chatting now. So if you're just here, we're just chatting. We're just talking finances. If you missed it, we talked about Jarvis very briefly and missing letter down here um, a little bit. But yes, this is this is the good stuff. You Oh, thanks, Bev. I appreciate that. Yes, bookkeeper is a must. Nobody knows what I pinned. This is why I need like a physical pin when I say stuff like that. Next time I'm going to type it out on Ecamm here and we're actually going to physically pin the thought to the side. Damn it. 
Mm. I remember because it was going to bother me. Okay, back to our pins. I, I mentioned that I never put reoccurring cost on my credit card anymore because that is my friend why I have credit card debt. <laughs> it's not for any other reason for the most part. I mean, yes, I have purchased like tickets to conferences, but generally I pay those off very quickly because I like points. But I stopped a couple years ago putting any reoccurring cost on my credit card because it's too, number one, it's too easy. And number two, you forget and you're racking up and then you're paying interest on reoccurring costs. So if I want something, it's either gonna be through my debit, my business debit card. So it has to come, I have to have the cash. It has to be there for me to do it. Otherwise it's like sight unseen. That's how bad I am at finances and I know I'm not alone. So I'm just gonna do my best to not screw myself over <laughs> and I'm not gonna put it on my credit card. And then the other thing is um, I'll put it through my PayPal because my PayPal is either, it's either gonna pull from whatever's in my PayPal account. Ooh, I got another tip for you while we're here. Cause why not? We're talking finances today for some reason. Um, but also uh, because it's connected to my, my debit. So if there's nothing in my PayPal, it'll just go through my business debit, not my credit card. I do not have my credit card connected to my PayPal account, bro. I'm just saying, I'm just saying. Um, you know how I was like, ooh, I didn't want to put a pin on it because I knew my brain is all over the place right now, but get your money out of PayPal as quickly as possible. You can use PayPal, but I'm just saying, if you're one of those people who let it rack up like a balance to like two grand or what, a thousand, six thousand, I once had like four thousand dollars in there that I forgot about. <laughs> This is before I did financial dates. That was a pleasant surprise. I was like, oh, hey, look, four grand. Let's go pay some taxes, which is exactly where all that money went because yay, business ownership. Um, don't do that because I've heard it has never happened to me. But I have heard a lot of horror stories of people who PayPal just decides they're going to hold your funds indefinitely. They're like, you know, something weird is going on over here. <laughs> so we're just, nothing weird is happening. This is just PayPal being a, yeah. Uh, they're like, yo, we're just going to put a freeze on your, you're never going to see that money again. Don't do it. In fact, I really am trying to get away from PayPal in general, even with um, like my subscriptions and stuff, everything going through Stripe now because PayPal is just funky. It's not really business friendly. I'm not going to lie to you. Yes, there's times where you have to use it, but I'm not a big fan. So that was the other pin. I hope that you're finding this rambling about my financial tips helpful. You are getting financial tips from someone who hates financials. That's why I hired a bookkeeper. Um, so there you go. Yes, and Evie agrees. No reoccurring payments on credit cards. Okay, by the way, if you're in my Baby Got Mentorship group, this is the sort of stuff we talk about. <laughs> so if you wanna learn more about that, hit me up. Um, you don't have to be a chat marketer to, to be in that membership. It just happens to be a lot of chat marketing agencies. Okay, we're at the end of our hour, I believe. We're, yeah, we're there. It's, the hour is coming on. I hope that you found this helpful. Let me know if you end up trying Missing Letter Out, if, you, if you've been using Jarvis. I'd love to know in the comments, even after we're live, you're watching the replay, maybe you're gonna go check it out and then come back. Let me know in the comments how it went for you, if you have questions, if you want me to do a recorded video demo, would that be helpful? Um, I'm happy to serve you in that way. I love creating content that answers questions that you have. That's helpful, right? In return, the only thing I ask is that you hit the like button right now. Hit it, hit it. Are you watching on YouTube? Hit the like button. Are you watching on Facebook? Hit the like button. That's all I need. Just hit a like. Just hit the like button. That's the very least that I ask. And it actually helps me more than subscri subscriptions, to be honest. You can subscribe too. I'm not going to hate on you for doing that. But yeah, you know, Evie, I even mentioned it myself. I keep forgetting and I have it. But it's been running. It's still running. It just kind of like runs. Um, I will say that uh, I'm planning on training my VA to do this for me so he can get in there and do it for me then I don't have to even worry about it anymore because I am producing so much content as I showed you guys on my Medium blog because of Jarvis. And can I show you something really quick? Can we do this real quick, like? Okay, let's go to, where do we wanna go? Let's go to Jarvis. I just wanna show you, this is how much, okay, everything with the, the WIP, I have one, two, three, four, five, six. WIP in my world means work in progress. So if I click on, like, look, what's the benefits of neuro-linguistic programming? This is actually benefits for your business. Look at this. This is how much I already wrote. 
I have 2,300 words on what are the benefits of neuro-linguistic programming for your business. <laughs> and I haven't even posted it yet. So this is what I work on on the weekend. I do whips. Oh, I already clicked on that. And then during the week, I'll go through and I'll, I'll fill out the blanks. Like this one's already a thousand words. So this is like the content I'm writing for the next couple of posts. Just to give you kind of an idea of how I'm obsessed. Obsessed, yo. The dope button. Yeah, hit that dope button. Yo, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you guys the caliente. Caliente. Yes. Yes, I love it. All right, ladies and gents, uh, let's... Uh, you like the page, you got some extra bonus stuff, you're obviously gonna share this out. I know you are. That's the dope button, by the way. Did did you not know? The dope button is the share share button. That's the dope button. Um, <laughs> let's uh let's end with some jams. Let's jam it out, okay? Let's do it. <laughs>